Okay, so what's your business? Okay, my name is Ian Sharp. I have a website, lushprojects.com. Uh, what we've got here today is a load of stuff. Um, it's all about people using computers without a screen and keyboards, basically. So it's lots of computer-based stuff, but they're kind of real physical, tactile things that people can touch and see and move. And that's basically it. So um, down here we've got Lunar Lander Game. Three, two, one. Which is one of the very early computer games done as a model instead of like a video display. So it's computer without video and it's very, very much like the original except it's real basically. It's one of the games Do you take in the audio from the keyboard or just the signals? Just the MIDI. Right. And then with the theremin, um, all sorts of things with the theremin. Um, she's not one of the moment, but Clara here, she actually plays the theremin. So what she's doing is she's moving a little dolly arm on the theremin. Uh, then I'm working out whether it's too high or too low. And then uh, based on that, she moves her arm, she's continually adjusting the thing. And all that's a bit high up, my arm out, my yeah. left bit low. That's a good arm. idea. Yeah, I mean, you can see her on YouTube, you can actually see her in action. Brilliant, huh? That's a good idea, huh? I never thought of doing anything mechanically to control something which is so organic. You yes, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. In that, in that way it should be precise, but I don't know if it ever would be. Would the things that are, would the sounds that it produces be precise every um, time? Yeah, well, what you get is it's nice, because when you play a real therapy, yeah. oh, I'm a sort of therapy. Yeah. I mean, you sort of learn to sort of lock the drum notes as well as you can, but there's always a tiny bit of slew when you go. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like three and actually, one. she does that, you see, because if you think about that's what she's doing. She's overshooting and then hitting it, so it always gets to a sort of vibrato. So that technology's got some kind of, like, adjustment in it as well, so... Yeah, it's ever so simple. It's really, really simple. She is in front of the therapist, she puts her arm somewhere, then um, I send the signal from the therapist to a little max down here, and that measures the frequency. Something physically happens, 
just like the light comes on, the motor works, the solenoid fires, but it does some action. And these Arduino boards are very well suited for that. They are very suited for people that know nothing about computers and nothing about microcomputers, specifically, specifically to operate the design really to let art students and design students realise their art type uh, project. And you'll see lots of examples of the Arduino, maybe behind the scenes. Uh, projects are to do with generating sound or making instruments to input to generate sound. So that's what I'm here showing you some of the things that I can do and try to encourage people to look up Arduino on Google and then get yourself into a whole different adventure of computer and physical interaction with devices. Shop you. Excellent, thank you. Okay. trying to get a good shot because the light isn't the best in here, you know. Machines working, eh? oh, so you're using the old machines for the things that they were used for in the oh, first yeah. place. You're mm -hmm. just keeping them keeping working them in, in the, yeah. the public eye for who's yeah. 